The guys tied two leaf filters together. We have a downspout here with a leaf filter, downspout here with a leaf filter. We got concrete. So we took a system that was existing and we used what we could so we didn't have to disturb any concrete. Went ahead and tied into this with our coupler. Went over here, tied these two downspouts together. This is our extra heavy duty Y. You can see all the cross bracing. There's a few really good things about that Y. Then we go into our sediment trap right here. Then to get this to where it's gonna drain, the guys had to run it way back here, 45 feet. The lower you can get your discharge end, the less water you're gonna leave upstream in the line. So if you don't want this to freeze in the winter, you have to take the discharge to where it's low. The top of the pop-up has to be lower than the majority of your downspout run. Now we're gonna go ahead and put a bunch of stone around the pop-up right here. We're gonna set this up to where it's gonna leach what's ever left in this little bit right here. We got so much fall and this soil's got a little bit of sand in it. So we have some permeability, which is fantastic. If this was super flat, the last 15 feet of this would have been knife cut and we would have just put a leach line at the end. Really nice, really nice work here. Love what the men have done. Keep in mind, anytime you're trying to ask water to come through a bottleneck, you're gonna have problems. If you would just end the pop up here and you're hoping that the water finds its way through here, doesn't end up getting caught in front of this slab. This is a slab for future building. This would end up with a lot of water. By taking this run all the way to the back, we accomplish two things. One, we get the water through that bottleneck, and two, we have so much fall that we leave no water in the line upstream. People are always asking in my comments, I live in Canada or the northern U.S., do I have to be below the frost? Well, for one, how are you going to accomplish that? Because if you went down below the frost here, it's 42 inches in Michigan. Then you come up here and then you're coming up. I mean, come on, it makes no sense. The whole line is gonna hold water even with this amount of fall because you went 42 inches deep. So to my point, the only time you would go below your frost is if you had city infrastructure or a really deep ditch to run your line, if you wanted to do that, which I still don't feel it's necessary because as long as you have good slope on your line, there's not gonna be water left behind in a line to freeze come winter. And that's, that's what you're trying to do. You have a rain event or a thaw, if you got good slope, it moves the water. The water's done moving, there's no water left to sit in the line, it gets cold, you do not have freeze up. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, it supports the channel. If you have any questions regarding this installation, leave them in the comment section. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and until the next video.